boys what's going on welcome back to the channel and welcome to i'd say probably one of hopefully two maybe more apartment tours and some of you boys are probably wondering you know slacking why do you say two apartment tours and i mean as you can tell when you first step in i wouldn't really call this a fully furnished apartment quite yet so that's why this will probably be the first one and a couple of months down the line when I'm fully furnished in here, more than likely I will bring you guys a second apartment tour. Nonetheless though boys, I figured where I'm at now is a good point to show you. So clearly that's what it looked like when you first stepped into the apartment. That's kind of was the first little view. It might have been quick. So here you go. Here's the door. This is kind of what it looks like as you first step into the apartment. Right here we have this mat. That's the thing that was like in my way when I was trying to open the door. I don't know if that's the best spot, but for now that's where we have it. Got some shoes right there. Um, some shoes right there. Right here we have this pretty lit shelf with these like, um, oh God, I always forget the name. What are these called? They're not squids. What are these? Oh, I know you're yelling at me. Jellyfish. Um, I got these jellyfish. They look real, don't they? Those jellyfish are not real. It's pretty crazy, huh? And right here, I have this like waterfall thing. I have it turned off for the sake of the video. It's kind of loud, but it sounds pretty nice actually, just not for the video. But let I me mean, boom, it's a waterfall. It looks like it's actually empty. That was a fail. Absolute fail, boys. I need to fill up my waterfall. It's empty, it has no water in it. Right here is a mirror that was, those are pictures of my brother, but right here is a mirror that was originally in my room. Um, we don't really know where we're gonna put it, so we have just have it sitting there for right now. That's my girlfriend's backpack, as well as a pot with some dirt. I'm gonna plant a sunflower, actually. Got the garbage can right here. Right here, we actually got ourselves a closet with just coats and shit and toilet paper, and just, you know, random stuff that you have when you live in a house. Um, as you can see, it's not a studio apartment, but it is an open floor plan. So the kitchen and the living room are kind of like connected, which I like. I've always been a really big fan of studio apartments. So I'm a big fan of this actually. And as you can see, we have an island, which is pretty crazy. Most apartments I feel like don't have islands. And yeah, I mean, an island is pretty cool, man. I feel blessed enough to have an island, let, a, let alone an apartment with an island absolutely beautiful clearly we don't have bar stools yet but we do have an island which is pretty nice um this is my i mean kitchen area really nice appliances really nice countertops easily the most beautiful place i've ever lived i mean hands down not even close and i feel absolutely blessed to even be in a place like this at such a young age i'm not even 21 yet i still have two months before i'm 21 and i mean i'm living in a place like this absolutely beautiful over here, I have my coffee shit, my toaster, got some uh, coins, you know, gotta save the coins up, dog. Blender, got my coffee mug, obviously, you know. All this uh, space, I have my fridge. This fridge actually makes a horrific sound every once in a while, it'll just start making it. I'm praying it doesn't start making it during this video, but fuck the fridge. The fridge kind of sucks, actually. Kind of disappointed about that. One thing that's definitely going to be different in the next apartment tour that I hope to get soon is I really want to get LED lights for this place and kind of put them like underneath all these countertops right here and you know all underneath right here. Underneath these actually we have a light. I'll turn on for you guys. See we have a light right here and I love this light but I would really like to have some LEDs up under here so I think I'm just going to LED this entire kitchen out as if you look at it from a distance in my opinion I mean this is like a prime kitchen to just have LEDs all over the place, if you ask me. So that's one thing I would really, really like to do pretty soon here. We actually have a plug-in right here. So it'd be perfect, like for the island, I can definitely do it. And then of course we have all of those plugins going over there that I could do for right there. So it actually works out pretty perfect. Right here, clearly we have the living room. I'd say out of the entire place right now, the living room is the most like lacking area probably. I know that's probably not the best lighting, thanks son, but the living room is definitely the most lacking area. As you can see, we actually only have ourselves a beanbag chair. That is our couch at the moment, is the beanbag chair. We do not have a couch right now. 
The beanbag chair is pretty cool though. It's one of those huge beanbag chairs that like every kid dreams of having. So it works out pretty well. But at the moment we're couchless and it's just a beanbag chair for now. Um, clearly we do have a nice entertainment stand though and a TV. This I previously already had in my room. If you watched the last room tour, that just came with me. That I actually owned in Spokane where I'd previously lived in my very first apartment. It was just in the house where I had lived at the time. You guys have just never seen that before, but I've been had that as well. So all this stuff I've had, I didn't buy any of this stuff. This all came with me. I'm just blessed to have already had stuff prepared for this moment. You know what I mean? Most people, when they move into an apartment, are completely empty, and I just got blessed to have had that. We're going to just get past that right now. That is actually the room. But right here is like a hallway, obviously, walking away from the kitchen and the living room into the hallway. We got the money sign or rug. You got to have the money signs all over the place, you know. That's what we're striving for at the end of the day is the dollar bills, you know what I mean? I mean, you can't lie. That's what everybody's working towards at the end of the day. So you got to have your daily reminder. And I choose to have them, you know. I'd like to have more throughout the place, but right here, this is my the only one I have, but I say it's a good one. I see this every single day. Can't miss it. You can't miss it when you walk through here. Right here, I open this up, and I actually got a washer and dryer. You guys have no idea how blessed I feel to have a washer and dryer in my apartment. That might sound stupid as fuck to some people watching this, but where I live, Washington State, at least the side of Washington State where I live on near Seattle... It's pretty rare to have a washer and dryer in your like apartment building. Like usually you have to go to the ones that they have. Like it'll be in the apartment complex, but it won't be in your building, you know, and like pay 25 cents. But we're blessed to have a washer and dryer in here. Walk into the bathroom. The light is off. But as you can see, um, I had the light off specifically for the fact that my toilet does have LEDs, which I think is pretty cool. And just about everybody we show that is thinks it's pretty cool, you know. Gotta have pretty lit poos, you know what I mean? I'd be taking a lot of poops, man. I'd be taking a lot of deuces, and I gotta have lit ones. Um, right here, you know, got a little bit of me right there. You'll skip that, but right here is the, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what to call this, the, the countertop with all the stuff that you do. I don't know, whatever. That's the bathroom. Uh, this is the curtain. Um, first walking in here, on camera you can't really tell but this is all rose gold like it looks pretty pink and kind of even like this looks gold honestly like that looks straight gold honestly on camera but this is all rose gold that looks kind of rose gold but this is all rose gold it's not pink and i actually picked this out rose gold is one of my favorite colors and i've always wanted to have like rose gold like like jewelry and stuff and i don't have none of that yet but this is close, you know what I mean? Like, got rose gold bathroom, like, that's pretty cool. So, that was actually me that picked it out. You think, like, my girlfriend or something did it, but that was actually on me. This is my personal favorite part right here. Is actually the, like, shower curtain, like, hooks we have are rose gold, and they look really cool. So, I actually picked all this out for the bathroom. I guess, I don't know, I'm a nerd, I don't know. But I thought that shit was really cool. So, that's our bathroom. And then, obviously, that is the hallway that I came from originally. Walking through... This is now the bedroom. We got the bed and over there, clearly we got the setup, but I'll start over here. So we got the bed and like our nightstands and stuff. Again, this is stuff I already had previously like brought with me. I already had it in my room, like ready to come with me. A lot of stuff that I spent a lot of money on and it's, it's really nice stuff. And I'm happy that I was able to bring it with me. My bed as well, I'd already previously bought brand new for me. Um, right here we have the closet. You can see the cords coming out the closet. I actually hope to eventually move the entertainment stand that we have in the living room in here and put uh, like a different entertainment stand out there and get a different TV and bring that TV in here. Because I could, as you can see, that entertainment stand fits here perfectly because it was originally like in my room with all this stuff. So it matches the gray perfectly. And I think the entertainment stand would really cover that. Also, you could get like those cord like things or whatever i don't know i'll figure it out but i want to get that fixed up because that looks fucking terrible up there we have some sound panels actually but you see those big gaps so i've been taking them down i'm gonna redo some of them so they're just not in perfect condition i got different stuff to put up there the stuff i was putting them up there with was garbo doo-doo trash not trying to deal with it so i got new stuff i'm gonna completely redo them got some on the ground so that's a work in progress um next apartment tour it'll probably be completely done or it better be uh, yeah, it better be completely done. 
But over there, I got some cords. That is actually some light stuff. Like those have lights under it. Those have lights under it. A lot of the stuff in here actually comes with lights. I just haven't set it up yet. That's why there's so many cords over there. Got to get rid of all that still, obviously. If you look down here, you can see this is clearly temporary. Where I actually have my PC is on like the top of these like plastic things we're using to move. And then my Xbox is just on the Xbox Series X box. That is not permanent. I don't know what I'm going to do at the moment. I know I want to get a new desk so the desk isn't permanent. Essentially, this whole like setup isn't permanent. Like this whole thing will stay, but like the desk is going to change. That's all going to move. I want to get a bigger desk, even though that's in the way. I'll figure it out. But um, this is the non-permanent desk setup. This is what we're working with. But for now, it works. And it's everything that you guys have already seen in the previous setup. I got my Titan gaming chair. Best chair I've ever sat on in my life, personally. Hands down. I've got the double monitor setup. One where I do like my YouTube stuff. And then that's the one I game on. I got the um, Elgato mic. I guess you guys have never seen this. My last um, setup tour I had what was the blue yeti or whatever this right here is my elgato mic i got it coming down the middle of like the monitors or whatever so i just sit you know like i'll just sit straight down here let me give you guys like the let me sit down let me give you guys like the the slack in oh i just got a 10 percent. i just got a 10 percent thing hopefully that i didn't mess up the recording but let me give you guys like the slack and like viewpoint so then i'm just saying right here basically i'm back a little bit i guess i'd be up like this is what this is what slack can be seen all day you know what i mean like I got the mic right here, right in front of me. I got the that, that, you know what I mean? Like, this is what this was Slack can be seen all day, man. So, yeah, I got that right there. And, um, I mean, that's that's basically the setup right there, man. Nothing too special right now. We're definitely going to move it. But at the end of the day, I am blessed to have a setup this beautiful as when I was, you know, just a couple years ago, 17, 18 16 19 you know you say it all throughout my teens i always dreamed of having a setup like this and making videos for people and the fact that i'm finally doing it is i mean i mean i don't even know what to say i don't even know what to say you know what i mean that's just crazy bro that is crazy man so this is where we're at boys and yeah i mean i i you know you boys obviously don't know where i came from or how i truly grew up so you will never truly understand but if i could put you boys like in my shoes and like see like you know what i've been through not only the last couple of years but just my entire life places i lived you know to see that i'm here in a place like this is honestly incredible man i didn't come from money and i'm still not rich bro i'm so far from rich Truth be told, I can barely afford this place, bro. I pay $1,800 a month for this place, man. Absolutely ridiculous. And, um, but it, it, nonetheless, it, it don't matter, bro. I'm just blessed to even be in a situation like this. And I just want to thank you boys so much for allowing me to be in a situation like this. Thank you boys so much for liking the videos, commenting on the videos, sharing the videos, you know, you know, all my members, anyone who might donate, anything like that, anyone who's going to help you in the future. I just thank you so much because you're, you're truly changing my life, man. And I, I, I don't really know what else to say other than thank you. I'm not the best at these in-person videos, so I'm sure this was fucking terrible. But nonetheless, that's why I only do this, you know, just about every time I move, I'd say. It's the only time I make a real live video. So I thank you boys so much, man. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little, I'll probably do a little outro like, like in the game or whatever. So I see you boys in that and just thank you so much for watching, man. All right, boys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much if you did make it to this point in the video. I want to thank my members, JC and that archive guy. You boys have been members for a very long time and I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you to everybody who has made this possible and thank you to everybody who is going to continue to support me from here on out. I truly believe this right here is only the beginning and we've got a long way to go. So thank you so much, boys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.